loves and welcome back to another vlog video um i did get a good response from my last vlog video and some requests to do more videos like this um and there is actually some news that i do want to share with you as of last week um there was a big change that happened in our family and both my husband and myself uh, came home. And for him, uh, this had happened a few months back, actually. And then I came home last week. And so my job did lose me last week. And I will tell you that it was the best thing, right? It was one of the best gifts that I could have given to myself. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, then you know that I went live on Facebook and I shared this with the world, uh, with my family. And here's the reality, is that we are real people. And for me, it is super important to be as authentic as possible with my followers, uh, subscribers, because we're mamas. Most of us are mamas, right? I have um, people that follow me that are have been supportive for so long and I'm so appreciative of them. It is so important to be transparent and authentic because that's who I am. Anyone who knows me knows that that is who I am to the core. I want to share this with you because I know I am not the only person going through this right now. I know our family is not the only family going through things like this right now. And for most people, the consensus is let's just not say anything, let's hide it, let's, you know, and, and there's a, a sense of shame and, and I get it because <clears throat> because telling, sharing news like that with the world, there are so many different things that transpire from that, from the words leaving your lips and being put out into the universe. However, we are not, we, we don't hide. We want our journey to be as authentic as humanly possible. We want to be able to relate to others. And the reality of the situation is you can't do that if you're hiding and if you're not sharing your testimony and your journey with others along the way. We are true believers that your words have power, that your testimonies have power, that you are, we are, we are meant to share and grow together. I just remember, I, I, I see all of these, the motivational speakers and, and I listen to podcasts and, and I follow, um, you know, people that, that are considered to be inspirational and all of the things. However, the reality is that I don't know their story, right? I. I don't truly know what they've been through. And that is something that I, I, I've always wondered is like, what did that journey look like before you made it, right? What did it look like when you left your job or you lost your job and you only had a few, hundred dollars in the bank. You didn't know how rent was going to be paid the following month or food or anything like that. What did that time in your life look like? Because we listen to motivational speakers. We listen to podcasts. We listen to all of these things. And the reality is that they've already made it on the other side. Very rare. Do you see people who share their journey while they're going through it? After you've gained stability, right, from being let go, after you've 
gain stability after you, you know, have already made it to where, you know, your cars are paid off, your house is paid off, and you're generating hundreds of thousands and some even millions of uh, dollars worth of income, then you share. <clears throat> and then you, um, you share with others, you know, and you try to encourage them like, yes, you can make it through. Yes, you can make it through. But, but what did those dark times look like in your life? What, what did that truly look like? Um, were you practicing what you were preaching to others? And I think that is super important to be authentic because someday I've all, I've always had a dream, uh, to, be in a position to encourage people and to help them along the way with their journey and inspire them. I, I strive to be someone remembered, right? For authenticity and courage and just sound advice. And no, I, I do not know anyone. Uh, I mean, I don't know all the things. I'm not perfect. Um, I, I very much have bags and my life is crazy and insane, right? With family and babies and my husband, things are, are insane. And there's not one day that looks the same. And that is okay because the reality is that this is what life is like um, for moms most of the time. And I will share this with you, you know, what I was doing before, it was an extremely rewarding, um, an extremely rewarding job. It, it really was. I enjoyed it. I felt like I was making a difference. I felt fulfilled most days so when I went home and I, I truly loved it. I, I truly, truly did. I loved the people that I trained. I loved sharing hope with them. Uh, for some families, you know, that came in and trained with me, they didn't know, you know, how they were gonna pay for food the upcoming week. And those kind of moments for me are priceless they're rewarding and honestly what I was doing pre-COVID I would have done for free I absolutely would have done for free um, I ran um, a market right I ran a market and it was two cities <clears throat> I would onboard I would talk to merchants I would do some business to business um, for the company from time to time uh, advertising, marketing, you know, those kinds of things around the cities. And it was so amazing, y'all. When COVID hit and I came home and I was working full time, you know, I am one of those individuals who I, I don't give up. I try to find different avenues and different ways to do things because that that is what you do you like i strive to be as innovative as possible and so instead of making excuses i created solutions and so when covid first hit i was homeschooling three children and i was working full time and i switched up my schedule um i started working uh, at three o'clock, sometimes two o'clock in the morning, just so that I could get ahead and make sure that I was achieving my goals as best as I possibly could, being a mother in this situation. And for many parents, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You came home and you were homeschooling and you were working full time and you were trying to solidify this balance in life that made sense to you. And so for me, it was getting up before the sun rose. And, and I've always done that anyway, but I'm talking about two, three o'clock in the morning, I would start working just so I could get ahead before my babies got up and I had to start homeschooling. 
and the homeschooling we had was not, you know, just work of completion and they got a grade for it. No, it, it was like, it needed to be correct. We needed to, to know exactly what we were doing. Um, and they were being graded. <laughs> so so it, it, it was actual work. And so that's what I did. I strived to create a solution for the madness and create a balance that made sense for me and my family. And I did that. Now there were things that happened during COVID that they were aware of, right? We moved three times in COVID. We've moved three times. The first time we moved, we moved to a rent home that y'all, it was a beautiful home, but see the, the process of renting and getting in, uh, we paid our money. We actually paid up a couple of months of rent, but we did not meet the homeowners until everything was done. And we got there and things were not as they should have been. Um, and it, it was unlawful to be quite frank, our children were not safe and we ended up having to move. Uh, however, you never burn bridges. And because we had been upstanding tenants in our prior home, our landlord, they held the house for us and they said, listen, come on back home. We will take you in a heartbeat. And so thankfully, we are so, so, so blessed to have had landlords uh, previous that we had an amazing relationship with and that we did not burn bridges with and we were able to go back. But in the midst of this, you have to remember, I was still working full time. Both my husband and I were still working. And so a week later, Exactly a week later, my husband lost his job. But it, the funny thing is, is that we were not worried because see, we have been in a place where we've had nothing. We started out with nothing. We were two broke college students, okay? Trying to do the right thing and we fell in love. We got married and then a year later we had our first child we started from ground zero. And the beautiful thing I will say about starting at ground zero is when you've been there and you've conquered and you've built a life of, a, a life that is thriving and, and you know how to build from nothing, you can do it again. And so that didn't scare us. He was the breadwinner for our family. And so at that time when he came home, he called me and I'll never forget. He was like, babe, today is the day. And I just remember saying, okay, all right. And he came home and he got to work, right? He started working on his certifications and we just, we just kept moving because you can't just stop there because the thing that you need to understand is that your life does not stop there. It doesn't. Your life is so much more than where you are today and you have to understand that. And so shortly thereafter, you know, things were happening in my company. And to be honest, when you are a person that is very aware of like your surroundings, you truly understand the process of business and things that are impacting the business, affecting it, things that would make business better. I understood those things. And so I was very, very alert and very attentive to those, um, those, those situations. And I knew 
that where we were, we could no longer go any further than where we were. Uh, it had took us years to build up to, to get to where we were at that place. And we knew that that wasn't our end game. And so for many, 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 many years, we knew that we wanted to plant roots um, in North Texas. We knew that we did. Uh, this is where our family was. This is where we were going to be able to access them. You know, whenever we needed to, they had access to us. And for those of you who don't know, we never lived by uh, much of any family at all. Our whole marriage uh, thus far. And we're going on 11 years. Okay. And so the truth of the matter is that we knew that our roots were to be planted somewhere else. And thankfully, the job that I had at the time, I was able to transfer. And so I did. I went through the transfer process, which was super stressful. And I fought the whole way here. And it's something to be said even about that process, right? Because here you have an employee that d never complains, never makes excuses, and you, that find solution, right? I'm working in the middle of the night uh, to make sure that things are done right. And I did that for eight months, eight months. And the first nine weeks of those eight months, I cried every day for eight weeks, okay? And so I think that it is so important for you to understand your worth and where you are in life because the truth of the matter is no one else understands where you are. No one else truly knows your capabilities because we halfway know what our capabilities are until we're put in a situation to be able to utilize them. And so I knew that where I was was not my end game. And I even remember telling that to the CEO of our company, like this is not my end game. And the truth of the matter is, if you don't know my worth, if you don't see it, someone else will. And so we moved, we moved here. And honestly, it has been the best thing, the one of the best decisions we have ever made in our life. For one, because we did it together and we were in agreement. And second, like when you truly feel something in your heart to be true, it is a reason for that. And so our children came and like they fell right in. Their schools, um, we ended up switching them from a private school to a public school because the schools that we have out here are phenomenal. And that was one of that was another best decision we could have made they are happy they are thriving they are safe and it's as if this was always the way things were supposed to be because they were and so fast forward to now just recently my job lost me and i say it that way because um the truth is that they let me go, right? And I'm going to be one of the ones that got away. And I don't say that to brag, but I say that because it's important to understand your worth. It's important to understand that someone who does not have limits and doesn't place limits on themselves, they are some of the most powerful people in the world, okay? And I consider myself to be one of those individuals. I don't back down. And I hold true to my morals. I hold true to the things that I truly believe because it's super important to do that. And especially as mothers, it's so vital that your babies see you standing for something that you truly believe in and that you don't compromise those things because our children they, their lives sometimes, most of the time, play out 
from the lives that they have seen displayed before them. And that's us. That's our family. That is, those are the communities that we choose to put them in, the community of people that we choose to put them around. All of those things play a factor in the lives that our children, that our children someday build for themselves. And it's important to know that. And so when my job lost me just recently, I'm talking about days, okay? There was a sense of, there, there, there wasn't an element of surprise because when you've been in this corporate world for many years and you have been on the other side of that where you were the hiring and firing manager and you ran multi-million dollar stores and franchises, you understand what's coming. You can see those things coming. And so I knew. However, I didn't quit because I'm not a quitter. Um, and if there was a shift that was going to happen, that shift needed to be on their end, not mine, right? Because I know that every single day I left everything on the table. And that's what we do most days, right? When you are people of purpose and people of power, you leave it all on the table. And there is not one thing that I would have done different. There was nothing that I could have potentially even done different. Um, I worked tirelessly. So here, here's the reality. This is where I am today. And I want to share this with you all because it is so important. I want you so much to be a part of my journey. And I want you so much to speak life in to me and to those around you, right? That we have been given this amazing platform to evolve and journey and be a testimony in front of millions of people. And it is so important that we take advantage of every single opportunity that we have like this. I am so, I'm, I'm excited, I'm humbled, and I am so on fire, right? Not with anger, but I'm, I'm so on fire with joy and, and just, I'm hungry, right? Because I know that my life is just beginning right now. And it's important for me to make this video for you all. It's important for, for you to see all of it. It is important that you see my journey all the way through because this, this right now, this time right now is so crucial. And there are many of you who need to hear this. You are more than where you are right now. I mean, some of you may be at a job that you are so miserable at. I mean, you hurry through your day just so you can get to the nighttime to clock out, right? Uh, you live for the weekend right now because just the thought of having to wake up the next morning and do it all over again, and it's something that you don't feel like you're fulfilled um, that you're not making a difference, that you're not impacting. And it's so, so important to impact. Not just your life and your children's life, your family's life, those around you, strangers you meet on the street, uh, people who come across your videos on YouTube. And, you know, the other thing is, you know, you, you build. I've been building some of these things only for a year or so. And while they're not where I would love for them to be, they are exactly where they should be right now. All of it is timing. All of it is timing. And just know that it's all happening for a reason. <sighs> um, I'm excited for what's to come. And it's, it's so important to me that you know that I'm going to be here every step of the way and I am going to keep it real. 
I mean, as you can see, like, this is me. I am, as you can see, at the corner of my couch. I am still grinding. I am still teaching myself things. I am still learning. And it is so important that you never stop doing that. You have to keep going, okay? I will share just a little bit with you. Like, there are things that literally started happening just a couple of days later after my job lost me that it's blowing my mind already. And it's not the fact that those things are guaranteed, right? Because nothing's guaranteed. But what is, is that opportunities will continue to come if you remain open-minded and if you allow them to to progress and push you out of your comfort zone. It, it's so important that you keep an open mind, especially during times like this, when there's so much uncertainty and we don't have 100% control over our like things that are, are happening to us, but we do have control over the way that we react to them. And that is what you can't forget. It's how we react to a situation that gives it power, okay? That is what gives it power. And so, listen, if you are not already a subscriber, what are you waiting for, okay? This is as real as it's getting. Subscribe, like, and share this video, y'all. Share it because you know that there are other people out there who need to hear this, okay? They are drowning right now and they have no hope. And we need to speak life into each other. We need to give each other hope, all right? Because sometimes we are all we have. So share this video, share it all over, okay? And tag me, life with Shani, hashtag life with Shani, okay? Um, this is me, this is, this is me raw and real and transparent. And that is what I promise to give you, what I will continue to give you on this channel. And so I love you guys and thank you so much for your support so far. And please know that you, each and every one of you are so important to me. Y'all are vital um, to the message, to the positive mama message, to the, po to the possibilities, to um, the message of growth and mindset and all of the things above. And if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to continue to see um, videos of this of my journey and just how things are going and updates, then comment that below. Comment below what what was something that you were able to take today from this video and apply to your own life. So y'all, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will go ahead and have my last couple of uploads here to the side. So go ahead and check those out right here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye loves.